All right, guys, we've got a little uh, kettlebell workout here for you. So you just need a single kettlebell here. We're gonna work through a couple different movement pieces. We're gonna tie in some speed aspects here with some good strength movements and kind of knit this whole thing together um, and get some good work in here. So we're gonna start with the kettlebell clean. So one of the big things that we wanna work on with our clean guys is making sure that we are A, producing or, or really focusing on driving uh, through our legs here, creating a lot of our upward momentum through our legs. We're not just kind of yanking the kettlebell up by our arms. Instead, that upward momentum is really being driven by our legs. So I'm gonna come down to the bell. I like to internally rotate, create a little bit more of a corkscrew-like position as I come up. That's not necessarily a necessity. You can be out or a little more neutral. I like that rotational aspect here. I'm gonna drive hard through my legs, come up to my stand. One thing that I want you guys to really think about is as we come up, we're gonna pull the elbow in. That leg drive is creating that upward momentum and then I'm just gonna punch the fist kind of under my chin. That bell's gonna come up and just roll and rest onto my kind of, uh, my uh, outside of my forearm here and into my bicep. Soft landings is the goal here. It takes a little bit of time to get there, but that's the goal to work on. So we're gonna go clean, and you're gonna get a lot of practice with cleans in this workout here. We're gonna go front squat down, then we're gonna come back it up, clean. I'm gonna do a contralateral, loaded reverse lunge, clean, and then swing, snatch overhead, back down. Switch sides and repeat. Now you can scale this up by doing as many uh, rounds on each side as you want. What we recommend here is going one round each side, go up in weight, if you want to stay on some lighter weight, just go multiple times on each side each round. Give yourself 60 to 90 seconds on the clock between the rounds. What I want you to think about here, guys, really, like I said, is speed on the clean, good stable position on your squat, speed on the clean, stable position on your lunge, speed on the clean, and then speed into your swing snatch. That swing snatch is going to drop out of the front rack position. But between the legs, again, I like to internally rotate. I'm gonna drive up, keep the kettlebell tight to my center of mass as I punch overhead, all right? Control back down, repeat, all right? Give it a go.